The WSU Doctor of Pharmacy curriculum does prepare students to be outstanding healthcare professionals who practice at the top of their education. As you can see below, uh, your first year you jump right into pharmacy classes. So we'll talk about prerequisites in a later video, um, but some of those prerequisites might look like they require you to do a little bit more than other pharmacy schools, but in our program you jump right into pharmacy practice experiences and classes. So in your first year you're going to be taking your applied patient care course series that's going to continue throughout all three years in the program. You'll take classes in pharmacogenomics and understanding how pharmaceuticals and the human genome interact. You'll learn about pharmacokinetics and how pharmaceuticals move throughout the human body. You'll learn about the top 200 drugs. You'll learn about US healthcare systems. You'll take pharmacy calculations and pharmacy communications in your first year. And then after that, in year two, you'll build upon all of that material, getting into pharmacy management, drug discovery and development, and quality assurance and patient safety. And then in year three, you're going to move into things like drug information and literature, pharmacy law, therapeutics of special populations, and then public health and emergency management. And in year three, you'll get into drug information and literature, pharmacy law, therapeutics of special populations, and public health and emergency management. And then in your fourth year, you'll use all of this material that you've used in your first three years in your pharmacy practice experiences in your rotations that you're doing all year long. Our teaching and grading model, it might be a little different than what you've experienced in a high school or an undergraduate environment. And so we really like to say that our teaching and grading model is focused around competency-based education. And so we start with having an active learning flipped classroom model. This means that before class, our students are expected to do pre-work, like watching a supplemental video or doing a supplemental reading to learn about the material that's gonna be discussed in class. Then in class, our students are doing case-based learning and team-based learning in the classroom to apply their material. So most of your learning is happening in the classroom with a faculty member and your fellow students. And this allows you to get real-time feedback while you're in the classroom and learning your material. After class, our students do also end up doing some additional studying to gain their competency in the material. However, you're not left on your own doing homework or um, cramming for tests or anything like that to try and gain competency in your material. So because of this, we also grade a little differently than what you might expect in a high school or undergraduate environment. So we do not grade on an A, B, C, D, F grading scale. We use what's called an honor satisfactory fails grading model. And this means that a satisfactory level of competency is achieving a certain percentage. Um, in our college right now, it's a 70% or higher on all exams in the program. Um, and that varies based on which faculty members you have for your classes, things like that. And so within specific classes, like uh, something like pharmacy calculations, your satisfactory level of competency will be maybe around a 90% or higher on all exams because uh, calculations is very important for pharmacy practice. And so this is set by your faculty member, but again, um, you are trying to reach that satisfactory level of competency, which is a certain percentage on all exams within the class. Honors is also designated by your faculty members in the program, and honors will set you up um, for anything above that satisfactory level of competency. So in some classes, it might be an 80% or higher on all exams, and in some, it might be a 95% or higher on all exams. It depends on the class that you're in. The nice thing with this education model, though, is that it really leads to a supportive community with your peers. So our students aren't competing against each other for a set number of A's or B's. They're working together to achieve competency as a cohort. Our faculty are also very supportive of students because they want you to achieve that satisfactory level of competency, and they're not grading on curves or anything like that with an expectations that a certain number of their students get below a certain grade or anything that way. And then our alumni are also very supportive, helping students find jobs to apply material as pharmacy interns, as well as helping them navigate some of those summer internship opportunities or even into your career to help connect you to um, full time employment as well. The students from the Washington State University Doctor of Pharmacy program go on to be very successful outside of the program, but also during the program, we set them up for success and have a full student success model. For our class of 2021, we had a 91% on-time graduation rate, and we also had the highest residency match rate in the state of Washington for 2021, with 67% of our students matching for residency. 
And then 87% of our class of 2021 graduates who had actively been seeking a job had accepted a job, a residency, or a fellowship, or they had a pending offer or were in active negotiations for a job at the time that they graduated from the program. Along with our standard curriculum, you can also go into other areas doing research and dual degrees. So we have several research opportunities, the first being our Doctor of Pharmacy elective courses. In these electives, you can start getting into some entry-level research, uh, maybe doing a few elective courses for the year, learning about different research methods, maybe getting involved in another research project. Um, so this is for students who want to get a little bit of research experience and just kind of get introduced to that research environment. We also have the Doctor of Pharmacy with Honors degree that allows you to do a two year long intensive research project where you will be doing either in the lab bench research or you will be doing um, like public health research or clinical trials or anything like that um, to then use to do your research. And then when you finish that research up, you'll be presenting your findings uh, on campus with faculty and students and at other conferences. And then with that, you would graduate with an honors designation from the Doctor of Pharmacy program. We also offer dual degrees and certificate programs. So you can do a Doctor of Pharmacy degree with a PhD in pharmaceutical sciences. Uh, you can also do a Doctor of Pharmacy and a Master's of Business Administration. You could also do a Doctor of Pharmacy and a Master's of Engineering and Technology Management. And then you can also get your Doctor of Pharmacy and a Master's degree in Healthcare Communications or Strategic Communications. And you can also do certificate programs in business, engineering and technology management, and in healthcare communications or strategic communications. 